Hi, welcome to Gyne Facts. It's a series of medical videos which teaches women everything they need to know about themselves. Hi, let's talk about endometriosis. Endometriosis is a medical disorder in which endometrial tissues, which are normally found in the uterine bed, is found outside the uterus. The tissues could be found in the ovaries, fallopian tubes, the pelvis, the bladder, the abdomen, the lungs, and several other body parts. This means whenever a woman with endometriosis menstruates, these tissues will bleed also. Some persons are known to bleed in the lungs and cough up blood during their menses. They have endometriosis. Endometriosis is usually accompanied by severe pains because these tissues will bleed and get trapped in the organ around the time of the menstrual cycle. It's a common disorder in women and the severity of symptoms varies depending on its location. About one in every 10 women will suffer from endometriosis. In women with fertility challenges, it could be found in as many as three out of 10 of these women. Women with relatives suffering from endometriosis have an increased risk of suffering from the disorder. It's a cause of great distress to many women as it negatively impacts their quality of life. And hence, Early diagnosis of endometriosis and complete excision is the best way to improve quality of life and perhaps prevent progression of endometriosis, thereby benefiting long-term fertility. Untreated symptomatic endometriosis can lead to worsening generalized pain, pain during sex, organ dysfunction, or fertility problems all of which can severely impact the quality of life of the woman. A woman with endometriosis may present with no symptoms. In some cases, a diagnosis may be made intraoperatively during surgery for some other medical conditions. However, most clients with a condition may complain of the following. Number one, painful menses. This is also called dysmenorrhea and most women will experience severe pelvic or back cramps several days before and or after their menses. This is sometimes associated with heavy vaginal bleeding. Women may also complain of chronic pelvic pain. This pain could be constant and devastating. It is usually related to the depth of tissue penetration by the endometriosis. Women could also complain of painful sex or pain during intercourse. This is common amongst women with endometriosis and is usually caused by the presence of nodules in the uterosacral ligament. Now, this is one of the ligaments that supports the structure of the uterus. Women many times present with difficulty getting pregnant and as many as half of all women with endometriosis will have challenges getting pregnant due to damage to the fallopian tubes, ovarian tissues, or the sperm and egg by the disease. Nobody knows the real cause of endometriosis. Most healthcare personnel think it could be associated with the following. Number one, backward movement of the menses. Menstrual blood is taught to flow backwards through the fallopian tubes and into the pelvic cavity in women with endometriosis. The endometrial cells contained within the blood will stick to the pelvic side walls and the organs and begin to grow in those tissues. Another school of thought thinks there are lymphatics or vascular spread, as the endometrial cells are taught to spread through these lymphatic channels and blood vessels to other parts of the body, such as the lungs. There's also a theory of silomic metaplasia, where the epithelium lining the abdomen could be transformed into endometrial cells by hormones or immune factors. And there's also the immunologic theory, where the body's immune system 
may find it difficult to identify and destroy endometrial tissues growing outside the uterus. We cannot prevent endometriosis totally, but the symptoms can be reduced by doing the following. You could reduce your levels of estrogen, and this can be achieved by taking drugs to stop the woman from ovulating and menstruating. Bed control pills and hormonal drugs do this very well, but the effects usually only last as long as the medications are used. Exercise could also help a woman keep her weight down, and this naturally will reduce the estrogen levels. Women with endometriosis could do well by reducing or stopping alcohol. Alcohol may increase your estrogen levels, and reducing or stopping it may help reduce the symptoms. Diagnosis of endometriosis usually begins with the history of the symptoms. At the healthcare facility, your doctor may perform a general medical examination, and sometimes it may elicit pains in your abdomen. A pelvic examination may reveal a cystic mass, or it, you may elicit pains when the cervix is touched. This is called the cervical motion tenderness. A transvaginal scan may be useful in picking up endometromas, and a magnetic resonance imaging, which is like a CT scan, may assist the surgeons in planning for the procedure to reduce the implants. The gold standard for diagnosing endometriosis is a laparoscopic test where a tube is put in through the abdomen. Laparoscopy is the gold standard in the diagnosis of endometriosis and the disease as it gives a good view of the pelvic organs to visualize the endometrial deposits and offer treatment at the same time. Treatment for endometriosis commences with counseling. The approach your doctor chooses may depend on the severity of the disease. Treatment usually starts with medications. And these medications could be used to reduce pains during the menses. Medications used will include drugs like ibuprofen, mefenamic acid. These are called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Hormonal treatment use could help eliminate menses and reduce pain by blocking the production of ovarian hormones. Medications which are used include the oral contraceptive pills, progesterone contraceptives such as Mirena, gonadotrophin releasing hormone agonists, and other medications. Surgical treatment could also be carried out and they could be conservative or radical. Conservative management will involve ablation to remove the endometriotic deposits. This is usually done during a laparoscopic surgery. Radical treatment involves the removal of the uterus and the ovaries. This is usually the last post stop. But it may not be the best modality of treatment, especially for women who are desirous of children. Also, the removal of the ovaries will induce menopause and its attendant problems. Thank you for listening. Well, well, well.